today I'm going to be talking a little bit about how to manage preferences in Chrome using any MDM and a few open source tools. So what many people probably aren't aware of is that you can manage Chrome preferences, Firefox preferences, and many other preferences using mobile config files. These are files that you can deploy with any MDM. And it's pretty simple to do. I'm just going to walk you through a request that recently came across my desk. The request was we need to disable the Chrome-based password manager in favor of other password managers that we might be trying to deploy. In this case, we're deploying one password. And we don't want the Chrome password manager to be the default password manager. We want Chrome to have that feature turned off and we can deploy that Chrome setting using the instructions in this article here. So essentially what it's asking you to do is to use a library that is actually created by Google and I'll put the link in the description below. And that package will give you some configuration. So it's the Google Chrome Enterprise Bundle. So that's what it's called. And the Google Chrome Enterprise bu Bundle has configuration plist file that is a demonstration configuration file that you can put different configurations. So if you look at the article, it's essentially saying that this is the format of the plist file that we need to put in the in this Google Chrome Dot plist. So if I open up this plist file here in my text editor, what you're going to see here is that we have set the password manager enabled to false, and we are managing the extension settings, and we're forcing the installation of uh, the one password utility in this case. Now to take this plist file and convert it to a file that can be deployed using an MDM. We need to use a tool that is actually called out here in the article called MCX to profile. And what MCX to profile does is it converts the plist file that you're going to be deploying in this case, and it converts it to a mobile config file. Now you notice that it's a Python application and it's very easy to use. You simply navigate to where you downloaded it. We're going to execute the Python file. That's what that dot slash signifies. We're going to use this plist flag and we're going to put in the path to the plist and then the identifier. The identifier, all you need to put in there is the name that you want the mobile config file to have when you're done. All right, so let's get to it. I'm going to go ahead and cd to my downloads folder and my mcx to profile master folder and i just downloaded this directly from the code section uh, where it says download zip and i unzipped it and um and this is where uh, it downloaded to my downloads folder so now if i <clears throat> up arrow i'll get to the last command so we're going to run this command it's dot mcx profile dot py plist and this is where my plist file is located now this is the file that we just looked at recently and then the identifier is simply going to be password manager so when i run this it's going to run very quickly and it's going to output to where the mcx profile builder is so if i do a list look up here we'll see that a new mobile config file called password manager mobile config and we can actually just preview it. And what it's done here is it's converted the code in the plist file to the corresponding structure that it needs to be put in order for this preference to be managed using an MDM or a rather a profile that um, you can even install manually if you wanted to under privacy and security and uh, profiles. So you could totally just double click on this file and it would install into profiles. Now this profile is not signed and many MDMs will automatically sign profiles that you upload. If you need to sign the profile, we'll cover that in a different video. In order to make this work, now you're probably struggling trying to get it to work. 
I'll give you a few tips and tricks. The first thing that you have to realize is that this is a Python program, okay? And if you're running Ventura or Sonoma or probably maybe even Monterey, you might be getting a failure saying that the Python version is being called in the script is not valid. So the next step that you would want to do to get over this hurdle is to go to the Mac admins Python and you're going to download the latest release of the Mac admins Python. And what this is going to do is it's going to install a version of Python that will actually work with this script. So you're going to want to download the PKG file, download it to your Mac, and then run that installer. I've already done that. Once you are done, you're going to modify the script slightly to point to the new version of Python. So if I go back here to the MCX, the profile to master, and I open up this file, and I'll put this in the description below. I've modified the first line to point to the version of Python that was actually installed by the installer that we just recently ran, the Mac admins Python. So we're replacing Python, the Python, the default Python here with the Mac admins Python. Doing it this way allows you to run multiple versions of Python and use the, the right version for specific purposes. In this case, when I did this and then saved the file, I was able to get this to run smoothly without any errors. I really hope this helps somebody out there. And I really appreciate you guys watching. Hey, everybody. So if you love this video and you want to see more great content like it, please check out my LinkedIn page. Connect with me. Follow me over there. Also, please hit that bell button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.